speakers to really <coughs> draft great speeches from personal stories. So please help me welcome the founder of Sticking In. Even if you 
you make a little error or something. It's still your personal story. No one else knows your personal story, unless you told it before and you mess it up. <laughs> but personal stories are power. They will, they will deliver a whopper of a punch. And personal stories also, once you get used to harvesting from personal stories and you realize how valuable they are, they work miracles in table topics as well. If you hear a question, you think of any personal story, you start talking about the story, and as you're talking through it, your second voice, once it gets developed, you're going to be asking yourself, how can I connect it back into the question, and it'll come. And personal stories are easy to say, because we love talking in stories. So definitely think about leveraging the power of the personal stories. Okay, so that's the end of that story, and you may be wondering, when am I going to learn how to write a speech in 10 minutes? Okay. So I'm going to ask my accomplice, JD, to hand out some handouts. <laughs> and you are going to get a form that I created. It's one sheet. When you work down the left column, it's going to ask you a series of about seven questions. And the answers to those seven questions, you write on the right column. When you're done, you will have a great outline in the order that you would speak it of a wonderful speech. Now you have three sheets. The top sheet is the form that I created that I filled out myself for this speech that I just did. Was it interesting? Anyone learn anything? Okay. So I'm gonna quickly, so we don't go over time here. And I actually have 15 minutes, but it says 10 on the sheet there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna quickly race through the form. You'll notice the first sheet, go ahead and flip it. The first sheet is the one that I use today for this speech. The second one is a blank one that you can copy and use for yourself. And the third one's an evaluation form if you want to jot a couple notes down for me afterwards. So let's look at the first sheet. I'm going to race through it very quickly. You'll have more time to process it later. Number one, choose a personal story that you are comfortable telling and is from your youth. When you're starting out in public speaking, I strongly recommend you pick stories from your youth because it'll make you feel a lot more comfortable about talking about you know, I was a klutz. I was really stupid and slow. I was very clumsy. Time is a cure. So the more time <laughs> that you put between maybe how messed up you were, it's okay as an adult to refer back to it, okay? Um, it must have struggle and conflict, some kind of a challenge. If you don't have any drama or conflict in this story or struggle, some pain, the story's value goes, it's really low, low impacting. Has important meaning to you now that you're older and you look back. You, know, you ask yourself a question. If you can go back in time and make it go away and change it, well, even though it was terrible, a lot of people say, no, no, I, I learned some things from that. I, even though it hurt me pretty bad at that time, I, I don't think I'd go back in time and actually erase it. Some people say that. So number two, here's where you get started. Write a brain jogger at letter C. It's a short phrase that will help you remember that story later. It's just a little note. So you go over to letter C, which is, now keep in mind, you're not going to write your answer straight across because this is designed to actually create the order of your speech. So you write your answer in letter C, and then you go to number three. List three potential messages, morals, um, takeaways that can be drawn from your stories. There are hundreds of potential messages that can be drawn from any story. The story I just gave, uh, three brainstorming messages, personal stories are powerful and engage. The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. I took a risk by choosing to go into that presentation, even though it, it, it made me feel uncomfortable. Sometimes strange medicine makes the best medicine. So you, come, you brainstorm three potential messages that you can draw from your own story, and then you go to number four, determine which of the three messages will most connect, relate, and resonate with your audience. And this is, you have to understand your audience. What are your audience's wants and needs? What are their pains? What are their expectations? And you go through those three back and forth and you going to resonate with this audience the best. So you write that in letter B, in kind of a statement form, or a, a moral, or a quote, or whatever you want to do with it. 
Number five, you take that same statement and you convert it into a rhetorical question. And you write that in letter A. Because opening with a rhetorical question is a nice way to open a presentation. <coughs> you get audience engagement even though you don't hear them verbally answering. Guess what? Everyone's answering up here. So you have to pause because you'll actually be interrupting them. Number six, when you think back to a time, to that time in your story, ask yourself, what was life trying to teach me then? What was this lesson? And write a couple few sentences at letter D. Number seven, how would you want others to benefit from that lesson? This is your invitation to greatness or the call to action. You can throw in a push-pull technique. You can tell them, you know, if you don't do this, if you don't consider this, then you're not going to get this, or this isn't going to happen or occur. If you do do it, then all this great stuff is going to happen. Write your answer in letter E. And for the most part, you have a very good outline for a presentation based on your own personal story. You can use this technique over and over and over, and you will find that after some time, you won't even need this sheet anymore. It'll just be rewired and mapped in your mind, and that's where it starts paying off big time in table topics. But personal stories, 